Kimono Dignity is in a tough enough 175 pound weight class. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Making his tough enough debut tonight, fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. Mike Bulger! His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of no wins and one loss. Fighting independently out of Cedar City, Utah. Daniel Ames! Your referee in charge of the action inside the cage is the Joe Sullivan. Three two-minute rounds, we are set to go. Bulger is wearing the red trunks, Ames is wearing the blue trunks, and Ames with a quick kick to the body. Fast striking from the 22-year-old to start things off. Both these guys in excellent shape. Bulger kind of looks like a young Rick Story. Yeah, he does. Bulger again, fighting out of Las Vegas, here in his hometown, representing Extreme Couture. Took a couple shots there. Daniel Ames looking good early on. Nice sidekick there. Yeah. It's like a little bit of Taekwondo background, perhaps. Ames coming out very fast to begin. Guy's got good speed so far. Looks like Bulger's trying to figure him out, but again, very quick rounds as two minutes go by fast. Got a total of six minutes of fighting if it goes the distance. Bulger with a big right of his own that just misses. Bulger got some good foot movement, you know, circling away from the power of Ames. Almost looks like he's kind of taken a, I'm going to counter punch throughout this. Bit of an early uh, strategy. Another sidekick there too. You don't see that that often. Ames with very, very quick jabs. I don't know if you noticed that, but he throws that out there at lightning speed. A couple of them have landed. Ooh. Mike Bulger with a nice switch kick there. About a half minute remaining here in this opening round. Lots of feeling out. You can tell a lot of respect on both sides. You're right. That, that jab is fast, Dave. Get that jab out there, Mike. Nice Big kick. kick to the body from Bulger. Caught a bit by Ames. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Another fight where round number one is just wide open. Ooh, Ooh, big, big head kick just misses from Bulger. And that's the end of round number two, or round number one, rather. We're heading to round number two. It, it's, if I was a judge, I wouldn't want to be a judge no, in this position because all. it's so close. There was a couple of shots from each of them that landed. Bulger throwed some, or threw some impressive kicks that missed, but missed strikes don't count at all. I guess if I had to choose, Daniel Ames because he landed a few more shots. That last kick there at the end did land. It didn't land flush. It did land, but uh, it didn't do a whole lot of damage. You can see some redness on Ames' face. Uh, like I said, gun to my head. I, I, I'm taking. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking Ames. Uh, but some very impressive kicks from Bulger. We don't see uh, kicks like that very often, you know, with fighters who are starting off with an 0-0 record. What, when I heard that Bulger was out of Extreme Coach, or obviously we don't know a lot about him because he's making his debut tonight, I figured that he was going to be a wrestler, but with kicks like that, clearly he's got a traditional mixed martial arts background, uh, maybe in Taekwondo, maybe in Karate himself. And we're seeing the same thing from Ames with those side kicks to the body. Mm -hmm. It looks like Taekwondo to me. I'm not exactly sure because he's going to list his fighting style other than being a freestyle fighter. Here we go with round number two. Again, Ames wearing the blue trunks. Bulger is wearing the red trunks. Another big sidekick from Daniel Ames. Not really any thought from either fighter so far in this fight of taking the fight to the ground. Both seem to be content standing. But neither of them even look like they're thinking about a takedown. Bulger sneaks through. That cut the whip of Ames right there. Yep. Ooh, and a nice kick to the ankle that hurt. You could see Ames grimace right after that landed. Yeah, and Ames a little bit upset right now and feeling his lip whenever he gets a moment to breathe. And yes, it is bleeding from that kick from Mike Bulger. Those inside leg kicks coming from, from Bulger. Bulger looks to be finding his stride a bit here in round number two. Just over 60 seconds, still on the clock in the second round. Yeah. 
Big head kick again from Bulger. That one misses. But Ames has certainly taken notice. You can see Ames mouth something to, to himself after that last kick. I don't know if he's mad or what you can tell. You know, once, 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 a, once a guy starts bleeding, all bets are off. Especially this early in your fight career. Less than a half minute remains here in round number two. Another very close round, but getting the better of the striking in round two is Bulger. And even though Ames caught that one, that landed on the chin. Mike Bulger has landed some big head kicks here in round number two. Final 10 seconds. Ticking off the clock right now. And Mike Bulger looks like he is head hunting right now. Daniel Ames a little bit confused what to do with all of this offense for Mike Bulger. Very impressive. Fun round. Oh, yeah. Fun round, certainly. I think uh, Bulger came into his own. You know, the first, you know, being your first round in your first amateur fight, you know, it's it's it's, it's very intimidating being under the lights here in Las Vegas. But uh, I, I think he, he took some breath, took some uh, coaching from his guys over there at Extreme Couture and found his range with his kicks. It, very impressive second round from Bulger. Yeah, and you can't say enough about the importance of good season corner men. And that's what comes with a great gym like Extreme Couture is when they're sitting down with you and there's this one minute in between rounds, they can give you such tremendous insight like you see right now. They're filling the ears of Mike Bulger with very important strategic points on how to win this particular fight based on what they've seen from Daniel Ames. And Daniel Ames over there being coached himself up right now. But here we go in round number two, we saw this big head kick come in. Bam, right there, it lands directly to the chin. And that was actually the second one. That wasn't even the one that cut the lip. Here we go, third and final round coming up. I don't know, the guy kind of cornering uh, Ames over there looked a little bit like Poseidon. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want the, the advice of a Greek god? Two minutes on the clock, Daniel Ames comes out. He is striking hard, but he's going to start putting some combinations together. Another leg kick landed. You can see Ames shake his head. We know that hurts. You know, when you shake, when you shake off strikes like that, you know, we know that it hurts. Nice kick from Bogdan. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice switch kick there from Bulger. Another head kick. Now if Ames is going to win this fight, he's got to start putting together some combinations. He's snapping really fast strikes out there, but he's throwing one at a time. One jab. Then he backs off. One jab. Backing off. Bulger yeah. connected and landed. I mean, nice little double jab move. Bulger's doing a good job of controlling the space in between them with those kicks. He's keeping Ames at a distance. Less than 60 seconds left in this fight. Bulger throws another big head kick. That one misses. The outside leg kick lands. And Bulger doing a great job, like you said, Mahoney, of controlling that distance. He's taking almost no damage at all. Doing a good job moving around the cage as well. Not content to stand in front of him. Very important. 30 seconds left in this fight. Mike Bulger wearing the red trunks. Daniel Ames in the blue trunks. And the final seconds are ticking away. Another big head kick from Bulger just misses. He, he was going for all of it right there. Yeah, that was a home run shot. <laughs> This is one of those rare fights where there has been significantly more kicks thrown. Bulger with a big slam to the ground. And that is the end Mike of our Bulger fight. Nice round from Ames. Mike Bulger. Great, uh, great sense of when to get the takedown to secure the round for himself. I thought he had the round already yep. in the bag, but the takedown was certainly an emphatic exclamation point on the end of it. And again, a fight where there was significantly more kicks thrown than punches. How often do we see that happen? Very, very, very rarely. rarely. And it was from both fighters. Here you see the end of the fight. Nice elevation there from Bulger, the training over at Extreme Couture. You see that wrestling coming in, playing a big factor like it does for all of their fighters. And just at the right time, Mike Bulger pulls out the takedown, final seconds of the round. We think he's gonna secure himself the victory with that one, but the, uh, the judges making their final tabulations right now around the cage. It's a sold out crowd tonight here at the Orleans. Looks fantastic on a beautiful Friday night in Las Vegas. We appreciate you being with us on Go Fight Live if you're streaming us live. 
A couple of Invicta contracts up for grabs. We'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, our official announcement for our second bout of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of war, we have your winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner, Mike Bulger. Mike Bulger, a product of Extreme Couture, doing a tremendous job tonight. Certainly uh, the jitters, it appeared to be in round number one, but Extreme Couture getting a win on the card tonight. An excellent performance from Mike Bulger. Another one.